Now to an update on a story we first told you about in May, a Vietnam War hero missing in action for more than 50 years. Channel 8's investigative reporter Maureen Wirtz was there as a family heard for the first time their loved one had been found. That's tonight's Channel 8 Close Up. Hey, I'm a good boy. Hey, I'm a bubble boy. Life is quiet out at Luis Morgan's home. Except for the sounds of roosters and the Oklahoma wind, not much touches this corner of the country. Oh. <laughs> I'm Louise, and I want to hug you. Oh, Thank you for everything oh, that you've done. I've been but the piece is a facade covering the years of worry that have settled into the lines on Morgan's face. Because he is a hero, maybe to nobody else, but... To me, he's always been a hero. Her last words to her big brother were, I love you. <laughs> Chief Master Sergeant Donald Joe Hall was off to Vietnam, where he's been ever since. You know they're headed for Vietnam. It's not in our hands, it's in God's hands, whether they come back alive or not. On February 6, 1967, Hall courageously rescued a downed pilot along the Mugai Pass. As he and his crew made their way out, their helicopter was hit and crashed. In the 50 years since, Hall has been missing in action. Until now. <laughs> I'm so glad you guys. Yeah, of course. Of course. EPAA 2017-0080 are identified as those of Chief Master Sergeant Donald Joe Hall. So, it's a good day because now we know where he is that we don't have to worry about him anymore. In a small room, the Air Force gave Morgan and her family the answers they were searching for. Driver's license, basically. And we've had that in our care, so I don't know if you want me to take it out of the plastic, but it's the same plastic that I was handed the DPA with, so. Her big brother's remains had been found. I'm all right. I am so glad you all came. Thank you. I'm glad we came too. We weren't going to miss it if it's hell or hot water. But the years of heartache are still heavy. Aaron McGee has spent years looking for his grandfather and his fellow crew members. Two are still missing. You know, my first reaction when we got the word was uh, the first thing popped into my head was the other two families. Um, not the reaction I had daydreamed about all my life. Morgan knows the pain that comes with waiting, but also the relief that comes with hope. To not give up hope that some of these days they will be blessed like I have been. Her hero is finally home. The family has chosen to bury Hall in Arlington National Cemetery. They're burying him on what would have been his 81st birthday on March 26th of next year. But there is one challenge. Louise is the only member of the family who will have her airfare covered by the Air Force. That's because she's a direct relative. So the rest of the family will have to make it there on their own. But maybe some people in Oklahoma might be able to help out with that. So. Yeah. Let's hope it works out. Maureen, thanks very much. Hall was awarded two Silver Star Medals during his service. He was also inducted into the Oklahoma Military Hall of Fame in 2016.